Matt Leeds, welcome back to my YouTube channel at kung bago ka lang sa aking YouTube channel, wag na wag mong kakalimutan mag-subscribe at hit ang notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga latest upload. Okay, so in today's video, ang pag-aaralan natin ay under ng grade 7 mathematics which is all about expressing rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form and vice versa. So madaling sabi, magko-convert tayo ng fraction to decimal and decimal to fraction. So, bago tayo mag-start, let us first identify the objectives of this lesson. So, at the end of this video, you are expected to learn how to convert fraction into decimal, convert terminating decimal into fraction, and convert non-terminating decimal into fraction. Okay? So, bago tayo mag-start, um, gusto ko maging familiar muna kayo dun sa mga terms na terminating, non-terminating decimal, or yung repeating decimal. Okay. Identify natin isa-isa yung mga yun. Una is yung tinatawag natin non-repeating or terminating decimal. So, non-repeating or terminating decimal is a decimal that ends with a specific digit. Okay. So, magbibigay ako dito ng example para mas madali ninyong maintindihan ano ba yung non-repeating or terminating. Pag sinabi natin non-repeating, ibig sabihin, um, hindi siya pa ulit ulit Okay. Terminating, ibig sabihin, may katapusan. Okay. Ano-ano yung mga example natin dyan? Let's say, for example, we have 5.2 or 0.6852 or 1.0004. Ano pa? Um, 32.65. Ayan. Ito yung mga example ng non-repeating or terminating decimal. Sabihin, may katapusan siya, sabi dyan, it ends with a specific digit. Okay, let's say for example, dito, sa 5.2, it ends with 2. Sa 0.6852, it ends with 2. 1.0004, it ends with 4. 32.65, it ends with 5. Sabihin, wala na siyang kasunod, hindi rin siya pa ulit ulit Okay, that's what we call non-repeating or terminating decimal. How about yung tinatawag nating repeating decimal? So, yung repeating decimal from the word itself, repeating meaning paulit-ulit. Okay, ano yung mga example nating repeating decimal? Ito yung tinatawag nating with one or more repeating digit. Okay, let's say for example, we have 0 0.55555. Yan. So, 0 0.55555, etc. and so on and so forth. Or, pwede natin ilagay na 0 0.6 kapag um, niround off natin uh, is an example of repeating decimal kasi paulit-ulit siya na 5, 5, 5, 5, etc. Okay. How about this one? 0, 6.3333. Ayan. Paulit-ulit din. Or 6.3. Pag niround off natin, 6.3. Paulit-ulit siya na 333. Okay. How about this one? 47.3. 25, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5. Ayan. Or 47.25. So, alam, nakita natin na paulit-ulit siya na 25, 25. Sabi natin kanina, repeating decimal is a decimal with one or more repeating digit. So, it could be one or more. Dito sa una, pangalawa nating example, one digit siya na paulit-ulit. Sa, sa pangatlong example natin ay two digit siya na paulit-ulit. 25, 25, 25. So, ito yung mga tinatawag natin, repeating decimal. How about yung non-terminating decimal? So, pag sinabi natin non-terminating decimal, oh, may kulang dito, non-terminating and non-repeating. Yan. Non-terminating or non and non-repeating decimal is a decimal that does not end or repeat. So, wala siyang katapusan, hindi rin siya nagpapaulit-ulit. Ano yung mga example natin ng non-terminating and non-repeating? Yung tinatawag natin pi sign or pi symbol. So, alam natin that pi is approximately equal to 3.1415 ano pa ba? Um, 92 65, 35 and so on. Or approximately equal to 3.1415 14, 16. Ayan. So, alam natin na ang pi ay walang katapusan, pero hindi na uulit yung kanyang digit. So, that means, it is what we called non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. Ano pa? Yung square root of 7. So, alam natin, kapag kinalkyo ninyo yung square root of 7, it is approximately equal to 2.64 
0.57131106451 or approximately equal to 2.65. Ayan. So, alam nyo na kapag kinalkin nyo yung square root of 7, uh, wala di siya katapusan. So, non-terminating din siya, non-repeating din yung value ng ating decimal. Okay. Since you're already familiar with uh, non-repeating and terminating decimal, repeating decimal, and non-terminating, non-repeating decimal, um, let us now try to convert fraction to decimal. So, meron tayong dalawang way kung paano tayo nagko-convert from fraction to decimal. So, yung unang method natin, yung first method natin, syempre, yun yung una ko i-discuss. Okay, let's say, for example, we will try to convert the following fraction into decimal. Let's say, for example, meron tayong 4 over 5 and 37 over 50. Ayan. So, yung unang way natin, how to convert this into decimal, is iisip tayo ng number. Ang focus natin ngayon ay yung ating denominator. Denominator yung nasa ilalim ng fraction. Ayan. So, iisip tayo ng number na uh, para maging 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, or 1 million yung ating denominator. Since nakita nyo na yung first denominator natin sa 4 over 5 ay 5, it is nearer to 10. So, alam natin na kapag ang 5 binultiply natin into 2, it will become 10. So, multiply natin siya into 2. So, 2 over 2. O parang times 1 lang din siya. Alam natin na ang number na minultiply lang natin sa 1, ang sagot ay yung number pa din. So, bakit 2 over 2 yung ginamit ko, yung minultiply ko sa kanya? So, ginamit ko yung 2 over 2 kasi alam ko na kapag minultiply ko yung 5 into 2, it will become 10. So, we have 4 times 2 which is 8, 5 times 2 which is 10. Ayan. Which is equal to what? 8 over 10, yung denominator natin will serve as the position of the numerator in the decimal. So, alam natin na um, sa isang decimal, let's say, for example, 0 0.001, alam natin na ito ay tinatawag nating tenths, ito ay hundredths, ito ay thousands. Ayan. So, dito, sa value na to, 8 Tenths. Ibig sabihin, ang position ng 8 ay sa pang tenths value. So, 0 0.8. Na-convert na natin siya into decimal. Again, yung denominator natin will serve as the position of the numerator. How about 37 over 50? So, alam natin na uh, hindi na natin pwedeng galawin yung, 30, yung 50 para maging 10. So, Ang pwede lang natin gawin kay 50 is i-multiply siya into 2 para maging 100. So, sabi natin kanina, isip tayo ng number na pwede natin i-multiply siya para maging 10, 100, 1,000, etc. So, yung 50 natin, it will become 100 kapag multiply natin by 2. So, 2 over 2 ulit. So, 37 times 2 is 74. And then, 50 times 2 is 100. Sabi natin kanina, um, this will serve as the position of the numerator dun sa decimal. So, it will become uh, 0 point, pang position niya ay 100, so 74 hundredths. Ayan. Yung position ng 4 ay hundredths. Okay. So, ito yung first method natin, converting fraction to decimal. Kung nahihirapan kayo sa method na to, so meron tayong pangalawang method na magagamit para ma-convert natin yung fraction to decimal. So, yung pangalawang method natin is the normal way of dividing fraction. So, paano ba ay divide, dividing numbers? So, paano pa tayo nag-divide ng numbers? Let's say, for example, let's convert one-fourth. So, one will serve as the dividend and four will serve as the divisor. So, magiging one divided by 4. So, ganyan lang yung gagawin natin. So, alam natin ng <clears throat> 1 divided by 4 cannot be, so we have 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Subtract natin to 1 minus 0 is 1. So, lagay tayo ng <clears throat> decimal point. So, add 0. So, we have 0. 10 divided by 4 is 2. 
2 times 4 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. Add another 0 and then bring down that 0. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 minus 20 is 0. So yun yung pangalawang, ito yung pangalawang way natin on how to convert fraction to decimal. So alam natin ang 1 fourth is simply equal to 0 0.25. How about another example? 9 over 5. Let's say, for example, we have 9 over 5. So, it will become 9. Dito lang natin ilagay. So, 9 divided by 5. So, 9 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Minus natin. 9 minus 5 is 4. So, add tayo ng 0. Bring down natin yung 0. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And then, 8 times 5 is 40. Minus natin, it will become 0. Ayan. How about another example? So, we have 5 over 3. That will become 3 divided, sorry, it will become 5 divided by 3. So, 5 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Add 0. 20 divided by 3 is uh, 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Minus natin, 20 minus 18 is 0. I sorry, is 2. Delete natin to. 20 minus 18 is 2. Add tayo ulit ng 0. So, 20 divided by 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. At tayo ulit ng 0. So, we have 0. 20 divided by 3 is 6. So, alam natin na paulit-ulit na lang siyang magiging 6, 6. So, ito ang, na, ang decimal natin is um, non-terminating and repeating decimal. Ayan. So, this is equal to or approximately equal to 1.67. Yan. So, ito yung second method ng pag-convert natin ng fraction to decimal. Okay, yung next slide natin is mag-convert naman tayo ngayon ng decimal to fraction. Okay, so paano tayo mag-convert ng decimal into fraction? Okay, let's say for example, ito ay 0 0.018. So, alam natin na Kapag kinonvert natin yung decimal into fraction, titignan lang natin yung position niya. So, yung, zero, yung 8 natin, ang position niya ay, kapag binasa natin to ay 18,000. So, alam natin that this is, this is tens, hundreds, thousands. So, alam natin na 18,000. So, it will become 18,000. Okay, then, simplify lang natin siya further. Divide natin both the numerator and denominator by 2. So, it will become 9 over 500. So, ito na yung kanya converted into fraction. So, an another example. So, we have 1.55. So, 1.55, it will become, yung 55 natin ay... So, disregard nyo muna yung 1 kasi 1 is already a whole number. So, add na lang natin siya mamaya. Focus tayo sa, sa point 0.55. Yung position ng 55 natin ay hundreds. So, 55 over 100. Uh, simplify natin yung 55 over 100. Divide natin both by 5. So, it will become um, 11 over 20. And then, Lagay na lang natin yung 1. So, we have 1 and 11 over 20. So, ito na yung kanyang converted into fraction. How about naman, kung magko-convert naman tayo ng, baka sabihin nyo, sir, paano naman po kung yung number ay um, repeating decimal? Okay, pwede po ba natin i-convert yung decimal into fraction kung repeating decimal siya? Yes, pwede natin siyang i-convert. Let's say, for example, we have 0 0.33, etc. Ayan. So first, uh, let us put 0 0.333 as n. So n is equal to 0 0.333. So yung n daw natin, let n be equal to 0 0.333. Then afterwards, 
Ayan. Since n is equal to 0.333, i-multiply natin both by 10. So, n times 10 is equal to 0 0.333 times 10. So, kapag multiply natin yung, 10, yung n kay 10, it will become 10n, which is equal to 0 0.33333 times 10 is 3.333. Ayan. Then afterwards, minus tayo ng n both sides. So, 10n minus n is equal to 3.333 minus n. Okay. 10n minus n is 9n, which is equal to 3.333 minus n. Sabi natin kanina, n is equal to 0 0.333. So, 3.333 minus 0 0.333. So, 9n is equal to 3. Ayan. So, dividing both sides by 9. Sorry. n is equal to 3 over 9, which is equal to 1 third. Burahin lang natin. Which is equal to 1 third. So, alam natin na 1 third, uh, 0 0.333 is equal to 1 Third. So, para sa maintindihan nyo, let's have another example. What if we have 0 0.555? Ayan, wala din katapusan. So, ilet natin siya. Let n be equal to 0 0.555. Ayan. So, n times 10 is equal to 0 0.555 times 10. So, it will become 10n which is equal to 5.555 Ayan And then, minus 1 tayo So, 10n minus 1 Ay, sorry, 10n minus n Is equal to 5.555 Minus n Ayan, 10n minus n Is simply 9n 5.555 minus n Ang n natin ay 0 0.555 So, pag minus natin siya kay 5.555 It will become 5 Dividing both sides by 9, n is equal to 5 over 9. Ayan. So, ang value ng 0 0.555 is 5 over 9. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you learned something and you learn how to convert fraction to decimal and vice versa. Thank you for watching. Good day and God bless.